the car. I'll change your old car. We have broke down. It's, it's a Jeep. The Belvedere Mansion here on the left, built in 1857 for J. Russell Jones. He was very successful in the riverboat industry. When this house was built, it was originally built for around $30,000. When Mr. Wow. Jones left Galena and he left the riverboat industry, he went on to become the U.S. Ambassador to Belgium. They're doing some restoration. Is it open today? Unfortunately, it's no longer open for tours. They closed it down about three weeks ago. We missed that. We missed that. I'm not sure if it's forever. Or I guess so. They were doing some renovations, but then uh, I did hear that the owner was not in good health. So they chose just to shut it down. style brick home here on the right, built in 1843 for E.B. Washburn. Mr. Washburn was a very powerful congressman in the state of Illinois. He was an advisor to both Abraham Lincoln and to U.S. Grant. But it was in this home here that Grant found out he had won the election to become the 18th president of the United States. They were sitting in the library in this home. It was wired over to them that Grant had won and would become president. When he did, he made Mr. Washburn the Secretary of State and later the U.S. Minister to France. And that home was open on Fridays and Saturdays for tours. We have a nice house and flower garden here on the right, but at one time this was all an open field. It's the field that Grant used to train his soldiers for the Civil War. We have the Aldrich guest house here on the right, built in 1845 for Cyrus Aldrich. Another family to live there was good friends with the Grants entertain the Grant family there quite often. It's also said that Abraham Lincoln and Mark Twain have both enjoyed dinners in the Aldrich House, which is now an award-winning bed and breakfast. train depot, built in 1857, used it up until the early 1980s. That was the Galena Visitor Center. It said that President Lincoln, President Grant, and Susan B. Anthony all traveled through that train depot. The East Galena Town Hall building here on the left, built in 1872. We mainly just use that building now for voting purposes story brick building here on the left on the corner. This was an old boot and shoe factory from the 1880s. They made anything from slippers to hunting boots. That's an apartment building now. We have Grant Park here on the left. On the top of the hill, there's some stairs taking to the bridge. Walk that back across the river towards Main Street. There's a statue of Grant up there. That statue is over 125 years old. When Grant became president, he was five foot eight weighed around 155 pounds. And there's also some cannons in Grant Park from some previous wars. Basketball court. We have the Blakely rifled cannon in Grant Park. That's the first yeah, cannon fired from Fort Sumner during the Civil War. <laughs> 
1852 for Warren Smith. He was very successful in the riverboat industry. This home, along with many in town, they're built out of what we call Galena brick. It was brick that was made and manufactured here in town. But at one time, those front columns, they were in need of some repair and unable to find any Galena brick. 